Welcome back to the comic book ASM artist. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, art book here. This is Charlie Adler, Drawings and Sketches. Many of you know him from his uh, Walking Dead work. And uh, this will showcase that as well as some of his work and other stuff. And then obviously sketches and kind of concept work and things like that. So if, if you'll notice, this is a smaller book, both in size as well as page length. A little digest size. You know, you can get it for around $15. So really affordable if you're a uh, Charlie enthusiast here. So really clean layout on these. They did these originally, I think it was a Kickstarter. Uh, I had missed it. I wanted to back it, and then the funds fell through, and then I got a second shot. They put it into shops as well. So uh, right off the bat, we see some concept work here. And uh, one thing I love multiple times in this book, you can see like the, the brush strokes, the ink work, aside from, you know, the main solid. You can see, you know, them building filling those spaces which is often removed in post so then we see some um skateboard designs here pretty cool nice knee in there so more we've got like a double cover wrap around cover concept there and so yeah this is obviously sketch work here yeah, I'd say Charlie's style is kind of a happy meet in between cartoony and realistic. You know, he does a good job at uh, making stuff as grounded as he can, given the subject matter of, you know, zombies and stuff. So there's a bit of, of grotesqueness to it, uh, fantasy, but yet it is, you know, he tries his best to make it believable. So this is a cool thing, too. So this was an image here that he had done. Uh, he did this in a different gray marker pen tones here physically. And then they took this and they digitally imposed it over this uh, background he did here. So that's kind of adding a, another dimension to the work there. Because um, as you can see, he does a lot of stuff physically. You can see the actual ink work as I've stated. So it's cool to see, you know, when they do different takes on things. So then we've got the thumbnails and then the finished page here. It's the Dock of the Dead concept stuff. So yeah, this over here, he says at one point I asked to draw my versions of the characters before I joined The Walking Dead. So this is his versions of uh, Morgan, Dwayne, Jim, and Andrea's sister. Uh, so that's what they would have looked like initially when he did them. He said this was an image here he did that <laughs> it looks like Iggy Pop a little bit. And uh, yeah, I would say it does. He's not sure if that was the inspiration, but that's what it kind of looks like to him looking back on it. So this is one I'm not too familiar with, Vampire State Building. Um, can I imagine just kind of more horror themed? Um, almost has a bit of a Epting feel to it there. It's like how the face and eye structure is. These guys who are, yeah, the masters with the actual medium of drawing with ink. You know, not just going over pencils with it, but actually just creating from ink. Uh, a lot of times you can just see technique. And a few of them will adopt some of the same techniques. So. so this is interesting. You see some ink over the blue line work there. That might even be digital there. I think that might be digital. Hard for me to say. As a style can be very clean. Oh wow, look at this. So this wasn't even, so there's different layers to it. At this point I would certainly say digital by that area there. 
we've got different atmospheres there uh, adding layers upon layers of, as I've said believability to everything breath of the windigo so yeah this one's highlighting more the pencil work of Charlie there and he's based out of uh, England as well that's something I didn't know about him now I love these here they've got some painted orc in here as well uh, let's see here on the right Ooh, okay yeah it is watercolor so yeah I think that is just straight up watercolor that's not digital watercolor but that's just his work here this nice menacing Im image here let's get a swamp thing vibe and we've got some like thumbnail layouts here he said we're all done cheap felt tips and marker pens which I'd never use on finished artwork so he does have some really good standards there he's not gonna finish his work using sharpies and things like that uh, there's quite a few people who uh, will not make that distinction and what happens is over time those things will actually fade in yellow so if you're uh, heavy with your ink work you want to use archival ink obviously because uh, if you don't your stuff could discolor kind of a big deal especially if you plan on reselling your work I love all the line work and detail in here you can really see like the muscle anatomy so yeah have you guys heard of these other series that Charlie worked on or really just Walking Dead because uh, honestly I've just seen this Walking Dead stuff which is phenomenal you know but it's cool to see other things as well another one here passenger so this looks like it takes a much more like futuristic sci-fi tone here the robots and that sort of stuff going with more blocky shapes here his other stuff we certainly see more in the way of like you know curved anatomy and stuff like that uh, so I think this was just kind of a, a chance for him to take a break from that and do something different it looks like see a lot of fun angular elements in this work oh so it looks like he's working on this he says there's 43 pages of original passenger artwork drawn it's nearly finished so and so and it looks like it's with uh, robert kirkham too keeps promising he's going to finish it i would have loved to finish it before starting heretic so I, I don't know if this is already out or not this book came out a little while ago I think last year or maybe a year and a half ago this came out so you see some fun ship drawings there and towards the back the page turning gets a bit more interesting so yeah it looks like this is a more futuristic thing so we've got music here so I'm assuming this is gonna be like album covers and oh wow look at this here so I'm not sure I'm trying to oh he plays drums too. his band uh, the cosmic rays the original member so I'm assuming this is one of the album covers too his group here uh, this painting is the cover of their trust the process EP so that's cool uh, cosmic rays played with him at the hive so this is professor elemental oh this is a concert poster there I'm not sure if you can see it too well and then on the bottom here these machines are winning below left oh down here and there's some heads 
So yeah, it looks like he worked on the suits initially. And then he added the heads after. So that's kind of interesting as well. Oh, and then this is like the background. So it looks like there is kind of another digital overlay technique he did there. So yeah, as I've stated many times before, I have a real affinity for people pulling off uh, the elements of the background and stuff like that. It just really adds a whole nother layer. So I can appreciate his understanding to build the environment around the characters and give it just as much love and attention. This is cool. It's got kind of like a psychedelic feel to it here. So this is for, it says, The Spirit of Christmas. He said the song was the cover to Charity Single by a friend of a friend's son. He was an 11-year-old with Asperger's who wrote the song himself. So that's pretty cool. Finished digital colors. Shrewsbury Music Brothers. And then above. So here's more random, even more random than music. Which you don't know how you get more random, but this looks like it's just all sorts of things here. This is an interesting design overlay there. On the back it said he worked on the X-Files too, so that um, something I'd love to check out. Here's some Judge Dredd as well. Looks like this is his pencil work here to make this image. I just love Judge Dredd. I haven't read a lot of them, but he always just visually was a cool looking character to me. Another watercolor image here. Occult Comics. So here's kind of looks like a yeah, watercolor on pencil riding the horse there. That's pretty cool. And then here's the image overlay. Let's see if we've got the composite. Looks like it's not in there. Code Flesh. More paint work. I would love to see more of his, his painted stuff for sure. You guys know I love like um Blanking on them now. You know my affinity for people who can work in different things than the standard mediums for comics, though. And it's almost wrapped up here. And here's kind of his tools of the trade here. Just, just kind of some standard pins here. Uh, some looks like a, a Wacom maybe or a Cintiq rather. Yeah. I'm doing layout or sketches. Now I tend to do them on my iPad or Cintiq because it's just quicker and easier and saves wasting paper. I save the scanning stage. So, yeah, just kind of a fun little digest of Charlie's work. Uh, oh, and on the back, too, it shows some of his other stuff. So, yeah, if you love that, uh, check out some of his other stuff, too. It says he's worked on X-Files, Mars Attacks, Judge Dredd, Astronauts in Trouble, and, of course, The Walking Dead. Uh, very cool. Yeah, like I said, I, I love just the realism he adds to the stuff. He makes the unbelievable believable. So huge props to Charlie. He is a master 
Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of Charlie's stuff. Have you read Walking Dead? Have you read some of these other things? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. And as always, you all have a super slumber. Thanks. Bye.